What's going on guys? It's your boy Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and this is my 15th weapon review from Ubisoft's latest release, The Division. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the SCAR-L assault rifle. But before I get into the review, here are some basic stats and weapon info for you on the SCAR-L. The country of origin is Belgium. The rate of fire is 625 rounds per minute. The magazine is the standard assault rifle mag of 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is somewhere around 2.25 seconds. The Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, or SCAR, entered service in 2009 with the U.S. Armed Forces and was designed by Fabrique Nationale de Herstel, or FN for short. The SCAR was produced in multiple barrel configurations and platforms including our L, or light version, and the more noteworthy H, or heavy version. The L shoots the standardized 5.56 by 45 mm NATO rounds, which are housed in improved Stanag M16 magazines. The SCAR series of rifles are designed to be completely customizable to the shooter's preferences, including an integral uninterrupted Picatinny mounting rail on top of the receiver for choice of optics, two removable side rails, and a bottom one for mounting accessories such as a grenade launcher. In addition, the SCAR can be configured for close quarters battles with a shorter barrel or for intermediate sniping with a longer barrel for better accuracy at range. Our division variant of the SCAR L is more than likely the standard version which is also known as the Mark 16 Mod Zero and is equipped with a 14 inch barrel. As I have said in previous reviews the assault rifles are underwhelming and while the SCAR L shows potential it has the same flaws as the other rifles in the division heavy upwards recoil while under full auto is what I say about most of the assault rifles and the SCAR L is no exception. Luckily it does not show any of the heavy horizontal pull that say the AK-47 shows but firing full auto should only be used in closer ranges. Anything at medium distance will require you to feather the trigger or almost pop fire this rifle. It's a shame we do not have selective fire as this weapon would greatly benefit from semi-auto mode. The SCAR L shoots almost identically to the Bushmaster ACR but at nearly 135 rounds per minute slower. You would think that the slower rate of fire would balance out some of the extreme vertical recoil but that couldn't be further from the truth. My recommendations for mods would be to invest heavily in stability and accuracy as once the SCAR is on target it does drop enemies quickly. Just like the ACR I'm going to rate the SCAR L a 4 out of 5 stars. As I stated earlier, it shows potential and perhaps with heavy modding it could be a wicked weapon. However, the hard vertical rise while firing full auto gets downright annoying as you are constantly trying to adjust downwards to keep the barrel from pointing skywards. I would not recommend this weapon to those of you who struggle with recoil control or do not have the mods available to tame the recoil. As always, I would like to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my weapon reviews in your life, follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash ltbuzzlightbeer. Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. This has been your boy Buzz saying peace.